Hey, Raw Food Rehabbers, it's Tuesday, January the 19th. Today is day 11 of our 11-week total health and weight loss initiative. If you haven't had the time to watch yesterday's video and read the discussion thread, I highly encourage you to do that, to get plugged into that, because the subject matter that we were talking about is, how am I going to make this raw food diet work for me, really? Like, for a life, as a lifestyle, how am I going to really make this work? And um, we had just, there's so many great resources that are starting to appear in the discussion thread. I shared my two cents with you, but so many other members who've been at this for a while, and even newer members, things that are working for them, you know, they're sharing that information. I think this is going to be one of our classic threads that we will refer people to in the days ahead because I think it's really important that we get those foundational things set in, um, you know, we can't just, I mean, we can go raw 100% overnight, but most people, it is a transitional period. And sometimes that transitional period can be years. So anyway, encourage you to check that out. Spend some time watching the video and reading all the comments because that's where the real nuggets are. So today I've been chin deep in the raw food world. I just had a wonderful opportunity to be interviewed for next week's program by Rio. I don't know if you've heard of Rio. Um, I don't know if you can see this book or not. It's Hooked on Raw. And aside from Carol Alt's Eating in the Raw, which was the very first raw food book that I read, Rio's book was my second book. I found it at a local health food store. I think I think this was originally published like around the year 2000. But it's a pretty thick book. And the recipes in this book are just, well, they're excellent and they're doable. I mean, they're, they're recipes that you could make today. I mean, you don't have to have all the elaborate equipment. So Rio and her partner, Lee, are excellent and they run a internet radio show. And um, I'm going to, underneath this video, I'm going to give you the link so that you can go check it out. My interview with them will be on as of next Monday. It'll be, um, so it was pre-recorded, but it'll be on the air. It'll be, once it's on the internet, that you can just listen to it. It's totally free. And we talk all about my raw food journey. But more specifically, I talk a lot about raw food rehab. Talk a lot about raw food cleanse, the book that just came out. Speaking of raw food cleanse, check this out. This is my bed. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. It's come, It's arrived. My first shipment of books has arrived. And so what I'm busy doing today... There's Luana. These are, these are the ones that are going overseas. Eva... It's, she went by Birdie. What I'm doing with these books, this this first shipment that I get, which um, I think I ordered like 75 books, I am sending a book to each original Raw Food Rehab guinea pig because they worked so tirelessly with me in the research program to write this book. I mean, if it weren't for those 65 guinea pigs that finished the program, the ele first 11 week program, you probably wouldn't be watching this video today. So all you original raw food rehab guinea pigs, you know that I love you. And so just know that your book, I'm signing each one to you personally, and I'm getting them into the mail to you this week. So I wish you could have had them sooner, but this is as good as we could do. So they are on their way. Um, for those of you who have already ordered my book, I just want to thank you so much for ordering it. Um, you know, I really believe that the, the I really wrote this book for people that don't really know much at all about raw food. Even though it's awesome, I mean, if you've been doing raw food for years, it's still a great book to have because, I mean, it's got a ton of recipes. I mean, there's a ton of recipes. A lot of the recipes actually came from our original guinea pigs. We have some very cool recipes in here from the from others as well, but um, I would really think that this is a book that you can give as a gift to someone who maybe is interested in changing up their health a little bit, but they don't even the the concept of becoming a raw foodist is like 
what, you know, but maybe they could conceive of doing a raw food cleanse for three days or seven days or 14 days or 28 days. And in my opinion, what happens is when people start to embrace this life and just from a cleansing perspective, just like you might try the master cleanse, well, when they embrace this and they begin to see what actually happens when they devote themselves to doing this process for a given period of time, they realize that things start to move and shift in their health. The weight starts to drop off. And so what ends up happening is just they thought they were just going to do a few days of a cleanse may turn in to a real and lasting lifestyle shift. And you know, this book, I've got primarily raw food recipes, but there's two sections in the book. The first section is cleanse recipes. The second section is lifestyle maintenance recipes. And I have several cooked recipes in there for things like grains and beans, um, root vegetable dishes. Um, I'm not advocating that everybody needs to go switch their diet radically 100% raw overnight. I know my family doesn't want to do that. Many of your families aren't there. Those of us who have suffered with carrying around excess weight and health problems for many years, we're more motivated. You know, you get a diagnosis from your doctor that you have like maybe some sort of a degenerative illness or maybe you have an autoimmune disorder. When you get that diagnosis from your doctor, you kind of straighten up a little bit and be like, okay, I guess I'm going to have to drive my car around the other block and not go through the drive through I don't want to be tempted anymore. You know, you begin to have a drive and a determination to educate yourself on taking charge of what you're putting into mm -hmm, the pie hole. So anyway, raw food cleanse, it's out, officially out. I mean, I ran by, I had to go to the um, office supply this morning because I was running low on envelopes and, you know, needed some things to get these books sent out. And I ran by the bookstore that's the closest to my house. And this young man, he's like, uh, yeah, it looks like we've got one copy coming. And I'm like, dude, you know what? You might want to up that a little bit. I mean, if I can't get more than one copy in my local bookstore, I mean, I'm, I'm thinking that we need to up that because I might be promoting it a little bit. So, you know, it's still very early on. So I'm telling you that to say, if your bookstore doesn't have it yet, you might want to tell them to get it. You might want to tell them to get a couple copies of it because you might want to recommend it to people you know. And another idea that you might want to do with this book, I think it would be excellent, is you could start an in-home book club because it's a real quick and easy read. It would be it would provide a lot of cool discussion topics because, um, well, I don't think the information in it is controversial at all, but a lot of people who are learning this stuff for the first time might be just blown away. I don't know. I mean, most of you who have been at this for a long time, you're not going to get a whole lot of new stuff in here. You're going to know a lot of this already, but what it's going to do is it's going to reconfirm what you've already been learning and it's going to motivate, inspire, and encourage you that you are on the right path. So I've just rambled on in today's video, but um, had to do one more shameless plug for the book. Um, Rio, very, very much someone that you should know. And I'm going to add her links to her website and you can friend request her on Facebook and I'll put that link as well. So you guys know I love you and I will be back with you again tomorrow. Bye.